Are you ready to unlock the secrets to mastering your emotions and living a life of purpose? In today's video, we'll explore seven powerful Stoic lessons that can guide you through life's storms with unwavering strength. As the great poet Rumi said, be a lamp or a lifeboat or a ladder, help someone's soul heal. Our journey begins with understanding what we can and cannot control. Lesson one, understand what's in your control. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, some things are in our control and others not. How often do we expend energy worrying about things we cannot change? Things like the weather, other people's actions, or global events. This only leads to unnecessary stress and anguish. Instead, focus your energy on what you can control, your judgments, reactions, and responses. Inner peace comes when we distinguish between what we can influence versus what we must accept. As Rumi wisely stated, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. Lesson 2. Reflect before reacting. In our world of rapid-fire texts and tweets, reflection is a radical act. When faced with a decision or heated situation, pause first. Consider why you feel a certain way. What past experiences or beliefs affect your emotions? This thoughtful approach builds understanding, empathy, and stronger relationships. As Hafez wrote, I will not sail until I know what course I'll take amidst the ocean's waves. Reflection provides that clarity. Before we jump to number three, if you're finding value in this video, hit that like and subscribe buttons. Your support means the world, and it ensures you don't miss out on future pearls of wisdom. Lesson three, practice dispassion. The idea of dispassion may seem counterintuitive in our emotionally driven world, but the Stoics understood its profound power. Practicing dispassion means maintaining inner calm and equanimity amidst both joys and tribulations. Imagine being able to observe your emotions with distance, like watching characters in a movie. You engage, but don't get swept away. This helps prevent reacting rashly to upsetting news or events. With dispassion, you can thoughtfully respond rather than reflexively react. Dispassion also enables you to fully immerse in positive experiences. By not clinging to fleeting moments, you can savor them wholly without fear of loss. Dispassion is a superpower. Cultivate it through self-awareness and mindfulness. Lesson four, ask yourself, will this matter in five years? This question is a mental reset button. When something feels like the end of the world, transport yourself to the future. Will this still impact your life in five years? Chances are, most daily dilemmas won't. This calms anxious overthinking. Save your energy for what truly matters in the long run. Looking back five years, how many of your past worries proved inconsequential? This humbling perspective brings freedom. You stress less about momentary missteps and see the bigger picture. But don't just minimize worries. This question also helps prioritize relationships, personal growth, and meaningful work that will echo through your life. Lesson five, keep a stoic journal. Journaling is a ritual as old as human history, yet its power persists. A stoic journal is different than a daily diary. It's a space for self-examination, a place to process emotions, reflect on reactions, and align with your values. Regularly shedding light on your inner world reveals patterns. What triggers you? How do you handle pressure? What drains you? Your behaviors, habits, and growth areas all emerge. These insights are gold for your development. Your journal is also a source of raw truth. By pouring out thoughts without filter, you release what burdens you. Maintaining a journal takes courage and discipline, but doing so can profoundly shape your character and life path. Lesson six, see obstacles as opportunities. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. This encapsulates the stoic view of turning obstacles into opportunities. Hardships are inevitable. It's how we respond that makes the difference. Each difficulty presents a fork in the road. You can give up and lament, why me? Or you can mine the situation for growth. Seeing trials as opportunities builds resilience. A job loss can propel someone to discover new talents or start a business. 
A health challenge can inspire renewed purpose and priorities. Any curveball can further your development if you commit to learning from it. See the blessing in the burden. Let obstacles elevate you. Lesson 7. Practice Gratitude Gratitude does wonders for the soul. By appreciating all you have already, you heighten life's beauty. Begin each morning by listing a few simple gifts. A comfy bed, sunlight peeking through curtains, your beating heart. Tune into moments that evoke everyday joy, laughter with friends, the smell of freshly baked bread, a warm blanket on a cold night. Recognize the people who make your life richer and express thanks. This magnifies their impact. Studies show that practicing gratitude reduces materialism, heightens empathy, and lowers anxiety by focusing you on the present. It fills your mind with light, making challenges easier to face. When adversity strikes, gratitude's perspective keeps hope alive. Though simple, making gratitude a habit takes effort. Start small. Over time, you'll transform hardship into happiness and blessings into bliss. There you have it. Seven lessons to help you master your emotions and live with purpose. Let me know in the comments which one resonates most. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more wisdom nuggets. I appreciate you all. Keep spreading light. Until next time.